The Stray Dog by Mark Simont, read by Dr. Ross. Hi, I'm Dr. Ross, and I'm going to read a book today called The Stray Dog. And I have a friend here. His name is Sander. Hello, Sander. Hello, Sander. Hello, are you? Sander is going to help me with this book because it's about doggies. The Stray Dog. It was a great day for a picnic. And you see the bridge there? You see the bridge there? What's this? asked the father. It's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. Oh, not like you. You're, you're a nice little dog, Sander. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him. They taught him to sit, and they named him Willie. Sander, you got a friend here named Willie. They kept playing until it was time to go. Let's take Willie home. Oh, let's take Willie home, said the children. No, not the dog. Don't bring the dog home, said the father. He must belong to somebody. And he, they explained, and the mother said, uh, uh, those people, whoever they own this little dog, they'll miss him. On the way home, the girl said, maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. During the week, all the family had Willie on their minds. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday all week long. How about that? You listening? And then Saturday. Oh, we like Saturday. What were they doing on Saturday? They were having a picnic. Looks like they have a table outside their house and a grill and they're having all kinds of goody foods. Willie, they all cried when he appeared, but Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry. Their little, little doggy friend, and they haven't found a home. And what's that guy up on the top doing? Ah, what is he doing up there? He looks like he has a net. Is he trying to catch that dog? Wow, that must be the dog catcher. Look out for the dog catcher. Okay, look. Here goes the dog catcher running around the forest after the little doggy, Willie. That's terrible. He has no collar. He has no leash, said the game warden, the dog warden. This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody. Well, you know what happens to stray dogs. They get chased by the dog catcher. The boy took off his belt. He took off his belt. Why did he do that? Here's his collar, uh, said the little girl. They were trying to provide something and when he said there wasn't any collar or any leash. They were trying to take their belts off and say, well, yeah, we got a collar, we got a leash. They didn't want to lose that little doggy. The girl took off her hair ribbon. Here's his leash, so it was a ribbon. His name is Willie. And he belongs to us. Okay, the kids are all playing with Willie in the woods. 
Happy, happy, happy. And what's in the background there? What's that guy doing over here? That's the game warden, the dog catcher. He's looking, looking after these. He's not too sure about this. They took Willie home. Oh, what did they do there? Oh, what did they do there? They had that dog in the bathtub. Oh no, I hate that soap. And after that, of course they had to clean him up, make him smell good. Cause you know, when that dog runs around, he just gets all dirty and messy and smelly. They introduced him to the neighborhood. Wow, wasn't that nice? Where he met some very interesting people and some other dogs. But they've got lots of dogs in this story. Isn't that great, Sander? And Willie settled in where he belonged, in the neighborhood with all the people and the other dogs. And that's why we say, they lived happily ever after.